everyone. Hello, hello. Happy Thursday. Well, it's Thursday as I'm, as I'm recording this. Um, hello. Hope you're all having a really beautiful day today and that you're taking care of yourselves and that uh, you're eating good, you're drinking your water, and you're giving yourself the love and appreciation that you need. I want to give a discretion towards this video that this does contain topics of sexual trauma and recovery. And I want to give us a discretion for anyone which just may be potentially triggering too. But I also felt like at the same time that it will be very appropriate to not make this age restricted, um, at least on my YouTube, because I feel like it was su such a nuanced situation and the youth that this character has and her age, I feel like it's very appropriate that while giving discretion that this is made accessible towards anybody, you know, regardless of their age, and whether it be for teenagers or young adults, I feel like it'll be very appropriate to share this kind of work out freely, while also being made clear that this is very much a sensitive topic. Um, but with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the video. And remember that your journey matters, your heart matters, and whatever you need to do to unconditionally love yourself matters. Take care, drink your water, bless you. Would you like to tell me what's wrong? What happened? Hey, my ballot. that I feel. I understand. I hear how people of sexual assault the stories are dear child I am this foul because it never happened to me. I understand. No one's ever touched me before. But I, I don't feel safe. And I don't know if it doesn't. People are so scary when it comes to sexual trauma survivors, you know. I want to let you know it doesn't make you less bad with a child, okay? Okay. You're still so young and unfortunately people go and be so terrifying and objectifying but you're a survivor. You're here. I know I don't see anything against it. I know baby. Is it valid to feel scared? Yes, it is. 
not just from uncertainty, but the idea that I feel hurt. It is. You're not weaker because of it. You're simply going through choppy waters, but you're a survivor tungsten. And no matter what happened, or no matter if you ever got touched or not, I want to let you know that these feelings are okay to have, and I'm here for you, okay? All of us. But you're a survivor. I'm a survivor. You're a survivor, Tungsten. And we'll be here every step of the way to make sure that you, you feel as safe in your body as anybody ought to be. I don't want you to feel scared or feel alien from your own womb or anything like that, you understand? And people feel afraid about these topics because they, they themselves taboo it so much. They make you feel like having these sensations, it's a, it's a, it's an evil thing. But it's only natural. Bayanuts are known for embracing those things on a spiritual level. And I want you to know that that's part of your heritage. And you're never obligated to take it up in any extreme way, but you are obligated to feel safe in your own skin. In the human world, we, we're learning so much more about ourselves and our autonomy. <laughs> People feel safe doing things, whether it be masturbation or orgy or anything related towards eroticism. It's important that you know these things are natural. You're never forced to be in those things either. What's important is that, you know, whoever hurt you or whatever made you feel triggered in any kind of way. That's something that many people have seen, and that many nudes have seen. You come from a sexual healer, and I want you to know I feel like you having that strength in your own blood says a lot. <laughs> You're doing enough, child. You're doing enough because every single day I see you. <laughs> you just being here. <laughs> you just laughing and having fun and being a silly goofball with titanium and everything. That's enough. You processing these things on your own level, that's enough. <laughs> you just being here with us. That's enough. You're not being entirely okay right now. That's enough. <laughs> you don't feel ashamed if you feel terrified or scared because your body says it needs something else. I don't want you to feel like you have to suppress yourself either. Okay, so we'll take this in baby steps.
just like when a new girl is at the legs for the first time. <laughs> more than you know, thanks to me. <laughs> You're already doing the best thing by letting me know how you feel. <laughs> but you don't have to go into physical abuse to be valid. What's that movie called again? It's the cartoon adaptation of The Long Way to Small Angry Planet. And I think Titanium's looking at it downstairs. <laughs> you wanna watch it with us? I think that would be amazing. I come here, you silly pants. <laughs> but I wanna let you know, whenever you feel ready, or anything like that, you just ask me. And I'm still learning how buy a new culture works, of course. <laughs> but if you ever need anything that's more intimate, whether it be an item or whether it be a little advice, if you ever feel like you need to go back home briefly for these things, you tell me, okay? Okay. But you're safe with this, you know, monkey, homo sapien kind. <laughs> okay. Are you done? Go ahead.